all of my free time. <laughs> When you first start your business, the, the number one issue that you have is just people not walking in the front door. So you gotta put all of your t all of your resources, and usually in the beginning, the number one resource that you have is time. Um, as I've said before, like you either have time or you have money. If you don't have money, then you have to spend your time. And um, that's where like 90% of new trainers with a new gym or a new studio end up is with not a lot of money, but a lot of time because they don't have a lot of clients. So you wanna spend all of your time with uh, networking and marketing. Okay, so networking, you're gonna be the leverage. It's all about leverage. So I would focus on networking with leaders in your community, you know, join the Chamber of Commerce, maybe join, you know, like a BNI group, a networking group, where you're gonna meet other business owners in your area and spend a lot of your time networking with those types of people, um, ministers, other business owners, like I said. Um, People that are catering to a similar clientele in a non-competing way, those types, those types of people. And then as far as marketing, again, you either have time or you have money. So if you have lots of time, what I did when I first started is whenever I had free time, I would just go, you know, pretty much walking the streets and I would just go up to people and uh, say, like, excuse me, you know, um, might have asked you a question, They're like, sure, no problem, like, hey, have you ever done a boot camp workout before? And whether they said yes or whether they said no, my answer was always the same. You know, that's great, and I just started a brand new indoor fitness boot camp down the street. I would love for you to come take a workout, you know, on me, and I'd love to get your opinion on it and see what you think. You know, would you be interested in doing that? Most of them say yes, and I would get their name. At that point, I should already have their name, um, and then I'm going to ask them for their email and tell them that I'll send them a follow-up. I want some more information about it, and then I ask for their number. You don't want to ask for their name, email, phone number all at once. It's like too much, and they're probably going to push you away and say, you know, you know, never mind, I'm not interested. So get their name when you first meet them, when you start interacting with them. And I just did what I call my 10 a day. And this is before, you know, I met Bedros and some of the other marketers out there and learned marketing. Um, I didn't know any better, and I just did what I call my 10 a day. And Monday through Friday, when I didn't have clients and have anything to do rather than just sitting in there waiting for somebody to walk in the door, which I knew they wouldn't, um, I just went out and got 10 names and numbers a day and I wouldn't go home until I did. And I spent all of my free time doing that. And when I started my gym, I um, was in the Air National Guard, so I had to go to the Guard you know, once a month. I was going to school full time because the studio that I got was uh, like nine, like $900 a month, plus you had like utilities and stuff. Um, so I'll, by going to school full time, I got the Montgomery GI Bill with, through the Air Force and the Air National Guard Kicker, which was thirteen hundred dollars total. So I had to go to school full time in order to get that money, and that money paid to help me, you know, start my business. So I didn't have a lot of free time, but all the free time that I had was spent on marketing, you know, and networking, getting my name out there, getting people through the front door. And if you just did this one strategy of ten a day, ten names and numbers, and don't go home until you get them, just by going up to people, whether it's at the mall or at the store or at you know, I even went to other gym parking lots, like a Planet Fitness. You know, if I couldn't get anybody there at 5 in the morning, I'd go to Planet Fitness at 5 in the morning and talk to people in the parking lot. So you got to do whatever you got to do to uh, get people in your door. But just like in those 10 a day, that's going to be 50 leads a week. And if you only were able to um, get, you know, out of the 50, you know, five people to actually come in and take you up on that free workout. And then if you were only able to close, just let's say, two and a half of those, you know, um, you know, so half of them, which isn't very good, uh, you're still going to get 10 new clients a month. And if you're charging $200 a month, it's going to be an extra $2,000 a month every single month. By the, so by the end of that first year, just by that one strategy, you know, conservatively, you should be at $24,000, you know, a month. So when it comes to how much of your free time should you be spending in the beginning, it's all of it. It's the only problem that you have. Um, you don't need to worry about systems and all that stuff yet. Uh, just worry about getting, you know, people in the front door. And then once you start making a profit, you know, start what I call buying your time back. So once you start making a profit, you want to buy your time back. So that way you're not spending all of your free time, you know, walking the streets and talking to random people. You can uh, leverage it through money and you can hire somebody like Fitness Marketer to run Facebook ads for you, run low barrier offers, you can invest in something like ClickFunnels. Um, and you're going to have all that free time to spend with all your new clients getting them really, really good results, so that way they're out talking and spreading the word about your gym and your place too. Because if you're not getting your clients results and you're spending all your free time marketing and once you sell them, you just forget about them, 
then you're going to have a lot of holes in your bucket, uh, you know, in, in your system, and you're going to have to get a lot more than 10 a day to keep that thing growing. So once you start making a profit, that's when you invest back into your business and into yourself and buy your time back, and you don't have to spend all of your free time uh, on networking and marketing. But in the beginning, you do.